onto your avatar. I'm gonna go over real quick how to install the avatar prop onto your avatar. Uh, some of you have the VR Labs Avatar 3.0 Manager, latest SDK, uh, my package, and uh, Final IK installed in your project already. You're gonna navigate to the folder called the affected stuff, find the folder called avatar prop, open it, uh, take the prefab, uh, this empty box here, drive in, under the, in the hierarchy under your avatar in the empty slot, empty area pretty much, uh, right click it, unpack prefab, drag on top of your avatar, uh, then right, uh, then to the left of avatar prop, there's a little triangle, click it, and it'll drop down all these options. You want to take the reset position game object, drag it above avatar prop until you see this blue line. Make sure you see this blue line above avatar prop. If you drag too high, you won't see it. If you drag too low, then you might, you're, you're not going to see it either. Make sure it's above avatar prop. Uh, after that, uh, go to the toolbar above where it says VR Labs and open up the VR Labs Avatars uh, 3.0 Manager. Uh, scroll up in your hierarchy, get your avatar and put it into the empty slot here. Uh, open up the effects portion, press add animator to merge, uh, take the provided effects controller, drag it into the empty slot and make sure that all of these boxes here are blank. If there's a number, then delete it, get rid of it, and then press merge on current. After that, make sure you have this avatar prop slash enable parameter ticked on the right side. That's the parameter you're going to use to make a toggle later. Okay, uh, then you're going to click on your avatar, uh, go to your FX controller, click the highlighted asset in the project, go to your animator tab, go to window. Uh, if, you, if you don't have that tab, you get a window. Animation, animator, layers, uh, click on any of those except for the very top one, and then take note of whether or not there's a check mark to the right of where it says right defaults here. Open up the manager again, uh, drag it in, click on this WD uh, symbol button thing here. And at the very top, if there is no check mark, you press set WD off. If there is a check mark, you press set WD on. Uh, okay, once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in uh, your own prop into the slot. And to do that, you'll navigate to the object container here, enable the object container. And now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this, this little gun here. I'm going to then drag it into the container. And uh, it's important to pay attention to the way that the sword is oriented with the front of the sword going that way and the back going that way. Uh, you're going to make sure that your prop or whatever you are using, you know, gun, scythe, I don't care, is oriented in the same way. So the front of the, my prop is facing the same way as the front of the sword going out that way. And then uh, you want to make sure you could click on uh, uh, no, defend that. Basically, you're going to grab where the, I mean, the hilt of the sword is, right? So orient your object accordingly. Uh, move it around up and down as you uh, mess with it in game. Uh, you'll see if you need to move it more and more as you see how people, uh, how it fits in people's hands, and you could just edit as you need. Uh, from there, you could just go ahead and delete this uh, sword object here. For, I'm just going to hide it, but you can delete it. Click on the object container and then hide that as well. And that's it. Well, one other thing you actually want, well, one other thing you actually want to make the toggle. So if you don't know how to do that, go, go to your inspector, click on your avatar inspector on the right side, scroll down towards the uh, menu, click it, click the highlighted asset, add to control, name it whatever you want. Change the type to toggle, change the parameter to avatar prop enable, and that, that's it now.